What's up everyone, Willie Apple here. In today's video, we will be discussing iOS 16, my most requested features, features to already expect, and ported devices. We already know that WWDC is happening on June 6th. I'm gonna be doing a live stream on June 6th. I hope you all be there. And you will be seeing my reaction to iOS 16, Mac OS 13, iPad OS 16, and everything else that Apple has to offer. So we already know that Apple will be releasing a new feature for the iPhone and Apple Watch, where we can use our entire Apple Watch straight onto our iPhone. And we are also able to airplay, as you can see right there. Along with a feature called door detection, which shows you how far away a door is and reads text to you on your iPhone. Now it also seems like we will be getting new gestures and more voiceover. Now for gamers, this is a weird one, but we're able to pair multiple controllers to a single iPhone or iPad, maybe even Mac and Apple TV. And you can help people with a video game, which seems pretty interesting. I'll have to try that out somehow. And this one seems really nice. Apple Books will offer new themes. Currently, right now, we have, like, Times New Roman. I don't know if that's Times New Roman. I don't really like that theme. I wish they would just use the default SF Pro like they have throughout the entire operating system. And those are all the features that we currently know for sure are coming with iOS 16. Now let's talk about my most requested features. Since 2013, almost 10 years ago, we have had these icons. They look pretty much the same exact. We have pretty much the same exact. Obviously, we had a few changes, like with Maps, that has definitely changed. That was last year with iOS 15. However, on macOS, we have seen a lot of new icon changes, as you can see right here. As you can see, that we have a nice 3D icons. I wish Apple could just copy and paste over to iOS to be able to split windows straight onto our iPhone. I can see that working out really well and people being happy with that. For example, what if I wanted to split view Safari and also Apple Music at the same time? I wish we could just split view. Now, I do know this feature exists on Android, but I don't like the Android operating system at all. It's just really buggy. Their longevity is really bad. And I have used pretty much every single operating system, including Windows. And speaking of Windows, Windows has a couple of apps that I think should be ported to macOS including clock and weather. Having the clock app would fix an issue with Siri because I often am on my Mac and I ask Siri to set a timer and that doesn't go out that well since, since Siri just makes a reminder in your reminders. And having a weather app, you can just check the weather without needing to do command space and search up the weather in your area. Now let's continue with the clock app. Currently we have a lot of ringtones that we can choose from and default sound sounds like this. Now, I know a lot of people don't really like the radar sound effect, but there is a hidden feature inside of health. We have to go to browse, sleep, and scroll down to set up sleep next. And then you have to set up a sleep goal and everything. But what we have in here are a bunch of nice calm sound effects designed to wake you up. And when I used this before, they all woke me up. Here's what one of them sounds like. Now I think Apple should just copy and paste these songs into the clock app so people could stop complaining about the radar sound effect being super annoying. Now let's talk about iPad OS. So iPad OS seems really restricted and Apple's trying to turn it into the next computer, but I don't think it's a computer quite yet. The main reason is the lack of multitasking. If I were to open up Safari here and music, we obviously do have split screen view and we can also slide over in another app like that. And we can really only do four things at a time on iPad OS. What if I want to do six things at a time? I can easily do that with my Mac. We have seen a pattern of Mac OS mode on iPad iPad OS. If we take a look right here, we can connect a keyboard to the iPad. Now, I know people have been saying on other YouTube channels that they think that this is going to be M1 iPad only, but I have an A15 iPad. I don't have an M1 series iPad yet. And what would happen when the base model iPad gets more powerful than the M1 iPad? Then what is Apple going to do? Just not add this feature? I think Apple should add this feature to every single iPad. I see no reason why they can't do it since Macs in the past have been slower than iPads. The iPad also make a lot more sense if Apple released this feature in iOS 16, especially on the A-series iPad, since I know the most popular iPad is this iPad with the A13 Bionic chip. A lot of people won't be able to take advantage of macOS mode, unfortunately, so if Apple were to release this to even the A-series iPads, even to this iPad right here, then I bet that it would make the iPad sales boost a lot more. 
Now, unfortunately, I've been unable to find a current iPad, but I did find an iPhone 11 Geekbench score compared to a MacBook Air of early 2020. Now, as you can see, the iPhone outperforms the MacBook, so I really don't see why this iPad should not get macOS mode. Now, we don't know for sure if this is coming or not. I would hope that it would come, so I will be leaving this in my wish list. Another thing on iPadOS I wish Apple to change is to change the app from Files to Finder. It's a random feature request, but it's what I want. Oh yeah, and don't get me started with this. I know a lot of people have been requesting this, like Apple should just do it at this point. Port the calculator and weather apps to iPadOS. Like, I see no reason why Apple cannot do it. So, if they wanted to just be lazy, they can just make it an iPhone app like this. Like, this is literally just the iPhone version just on an iPad. Same with the weather app. We have a weather widget right here, but when you tap on it, all it does is open up weather.com. Now, I think Apple should just change this and make it just go to a weather app instead of just weather.com. On macOS, we just kind of have no reason to exist. You're just grouped with your notification center and that's all they really do. What if we were to able to put widgets anywhere on our desktop just like this? I could see WWDC right here. It would just show me information and everything. Or maybe they just do that. They just stay on your desktop and you can just minimize them just like a window. If you just hover over them, these dots would just appear right here and it could just do whatever with them. Mostly just going on the desktop. I did suggest this to the feedback app, but I don't think any Thing will happen to it, in my opinion, unless Apple were to just go for it. The music app on macOS could receive a major redesign. In my opinion, Apple should just port the iPad music app to macOS, and it would look super modern. I mean, Messages already does this. Maybe they can add the double-click song to open up only the playlist, just like they do with Messages and stuff like that. Apple should just port the iPad Music app to macOS Catalyst, so we have the iPad version of music on the Mac. Now, I may not be much of a TV watcher, but I think we should get Safari ported to the TV. It would make a lot of sense, as every other device Apple has, excluding the HomePod and Apple Watch, has Safari and Amazon TV. TV has figured out how to make Safari. If Apple treated the Apple treated the Apple TV remote like a trackpad, for example, moving a cursor around, that would make a great TV OS experience. TV OS keyboard's pretty good. I'm able to search things up just fine, just like that. The only thing I would do is I would add things below, so you could just scroll down instead of having to go into the sub menu here, or just make it go up. I don't really care. Just as long as we have numbers without needing to go into a separate menu, just like these menus. Another feature I would really like is iMessages on the Apple TV. For example, you would just get a notification up on the top. You can hold, press and hold this button right here to message. It would come up in a menu just like this. And you can type in a little keyboard would just come up right here. That would be really beneficial for me since I would not need to need my iPhone or Apple Watch anymore. So I currently send messages while watching TV with my Apple Watch. And if we got the ability to send messages with our Apple TV, I say that would be a pretty great update just like that. And Apple could just be done with tvOS. And it would also make people buy an Apple TV stick rather than a Roku. Since we've been seeing rumors that Apple is working on an Apple TV stick, and if the Apple TV stick ran tvOS, Apple could have a big selling point over Roku or Google Fire Stick or whatever it's called. Anyways, those are all my most requested features for iOS 16, iPadOS 16, macOS 13. Now let's talk about supported devices. These three iPhones are going the iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus, and the iPhone SE first generation. I don't see these devices getting iOS 16 at all since their hardware is really old. I'm even surprised iOS 15 let these devices in. Now as for iPads, I know for sure Apple will be discontinuing the iPad Air second generation as Apple has recently marked it as legacy. I think the A8 and the A9 iPads will be going. However, I don't think the iPad Pro with the A9X chip will be going at all. I think it will be staying for a little while longer. Apple Watch, I don't think Apple will be discontinuing any Apple Watches. Now for the Mac, I expect all the 2015 Mac lineups to be discontinued. You can see the Mac Pro 2013 getting Mac OS 13. Apple TV, I expect all those to stay the same. iPod Touch, I can see the iPod Touch going. 
But the iPhone 7, I do expect for it to get iOS 16, as I know a lot of iPhone 7s are still out in the wild, but I wouldn't be surprised if Apple just discontinues the iPhone 7. I also expect the OG HomePod to also get HomePod OS 16. All of these devices that I'm showing right here, the iOS 16, Mac OS 13, TV OS 16, Watch OS 8, and everything else. So if you see your device, all your devices here, you will be getting, hopefully, iOS 16 and iPad OS 16 and everything else. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share this with your friends and comment down below what you think will come out in iOS 16 and what you want in iOS 16. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!